friends, I am Neharika and welcome to a new lesson. So do you know how to count numbers from 1 to 10? Oh, well, of course you do. But here in today's lesson, we are going to look at some idioms with numbers ranging from 1 to 10. So let's have a look at some idioms here. So rather than just counting numbers, it would be nice to know these idioms ranging from 1 to 10. Let's have a look here. The first one is one track mind. Now when you or when someone has a one track mind, this means you or someone have a tendency to think about only one subject. All day long just think about one thing. For example, there's this friend of mine who always thinks about movies. Like all she talks about, all she thinks about, her world completely revolves around movies. So this means this friend of mine has a one-track mind. So do you think that you have a one-track mind? Is there something that you always think about? Well, then you can use this idiom. The next one that we have for you is cut to ways. Now, when you try to cut something, there are two parts of it. So here, this means that you are capable of having two opposite effects. So maybe to produce advantages and disadvantages. So if you have to use this idiom, in a sentence, you can say that maybe marrying this man might cut two ways. So maybe marrying this man have some advantages and some disadvantages. Or going abroad or John is going abroad for his studies, leaving his old parents here might cut two ways. So definitely, since he's going abroad for his education, there is an advantage to it. But since he's leaving his parents here back at home, all alone, there are, there's a little disadvantage in it, right? So that's how you can use this idiom. Let's have a look at the third one. As phony as a $3 bill. So have you seen a $3 bill? I'm sure you haven't because there is no $3 bill ever printed. So the expression itself means phony, mm, not genuine or fake. So since there is no $3 bill ever printed, this means that it's not genuine. So if you have to use this idiom, you can say, uh, John is as phony as a $3 bill. So, which means that he is not a genuine guy. Maybe he keeps on cheating on other people. So, he's fake. He's not genuine. So, this is how you can use this idiom. Let's have a look at the fourth one. On all fours. Now, on all fours means, you know how a little baby crawls with his hands and his knees on the ground? So, this means that he is on all fours. Fours. Okay, so if you have to use this, you can say, uh, I was on all fours for hours looking for the ring that Gina dropped. So maybe Gina dropped her ring and to search to find it, I went down on all fours. This means I was on my hands and on my knees, just like a little baby. Okay, and the last one that we have here is take five. Now to take five means to take a brief five minute break. So if you're tired, like I'm tired now, I'm gonna take five. Well, just kidding. So, if you're tired and when you say I'm going to take five, this means that you are going to take a five minute break. If you have to use this in a sentence, you can say, well, the workers took five 
because they were working all morning long. Okay, so this is the way that you can use these idioms. This is from 1 to 5. And now let's have a look at some idioms ranging from 6 to 10. All right, let's have a look at some idioms ranging from 6 to 10. The sixth idiom that we have for you is deep six someone or something, which means to get rid of someone or something or to dispose something. Now this phrase is originated from the fact that the standard depth of a grave is six feet. Okay, when you have to bury someone, when a person dies and you bury someone in a grave, the standard depth of the grave is six feet. So that's where this idiom comes from. So when you have to get rid of some things or of someone, you can use this phrase. For example, I have too many old clothes in my closet, which I have to deep six them or deep six it. So this means that there are too many old clothes lying in your closet and you want to get rid of them. So you can use this phrase saying that I have too many old clothes, which I have to deep six them. Okay. Then we have the seventh one here, which is seven day wonder. Now, a seven day wonder is a very sarcastic phrase, which means that a person or a process has been perfected in just seven days. When you have to use this phrase, you can say that John is no seven day wonder. It has taken him almost one year of training to get to this position. So, which means that this person, John, is brilliant in his work but he is no seven day wonder it has taken him almost one year of intense training for the job that he's been doing okay now let's have a look at the eighth idiom here which is behind the eighth eight ball now behind the eight ball means to be in trouble to be in a mess So, if you are in trouble, you can say that, oh my God, I am behind the eight ball. Now, this idiom is originated from the game of pool, okay, which is the eight ball game. Well, I definitely don't know how to play, but the fact is, that's where this idiom comes from. So, when you are behind the eight ball, you are in deep trouble, you are in a mess. So if you have to use this in your daily conversation, you can say that uh, John, well, I have been using the name John too much, but this is just for an example. Uh, John is behind the eight ball because he has failed his exams again. So this means that he is in trouble. Okay, now let's have a look at the ninth idiom here, dressed to the nines. Now, dressed to the nines means to be dressed in your best clothes, to be dressed beautifully or to be dressed flamboyantly. So, if you are dressed flamboyantly, this means that you are dressed amazingly in the most beautiful manner. So the woman at the party was dressed to the nines. This means she was in one of her best outfits and she was dressed flamboyantly. Okay. And then the last one that I have for you is perfect 10. Now perfect 10. You know at times when you have to rank something in the order from 1 to 10 with the 10 as the best score, you can say it's a perfect 10. It's flawless. It, it has no mistakes. It's just brilliant. So, the new song of Madonna 
is a perfect 10. This means that it's completely flawless and we totally love it, okay? So, hope this lesson is useful to you. Now, rather than just counting numbers from 1 to 10, you should use these 10 idioms in your daily conversation. I'll be back with a new lesson soon. Till then, you take care and have a good day.